Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful circular peyote stitch Hitchol style earrings. I'm showing step by step and I'm sure that even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them. I also use really simple stuff on the seed beads and regular earring findings. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button because in this way you will know when I make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. If you're not new here, you could definitely skip this intro, but I have just a few words to say. There is a new feature in my channel which is becoming a member, which comes with great perks that you could check by clicking on the button and uh, this is a great way to support my channel. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will expect your pictures on Facebook and Instagram mainly. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video here are six colors of 11 seed beads and I use black that is not very visible at this background and I use yellow, light orange, orange, red and green. You could use colors of your choice. These are earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters size 10 beading needle, scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about 4 feet of thread on my needle which is about 1.2 meters and I'm going to start. Okay guys and I'm starting by picking up 8 of these beautiful yellow beads. Okay, what I have here are eight yellows and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. I make a loop and I go once and then I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I will make one more knot just like this okay then I want to go through some beads here in this direction and pull now what's coming up next is that I'm going to make this in a different shape okay as I'm exiting here from this seed bead you see here I will skip this one that's on my way and I'm going through the following you see what I have now and when I pull this one that I'm skipping is going out if it's not going out you could help it a little bit with your needle to go out and form an angle okay then I will repeat this three more times I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the following and I pull, skip the one that's on my way and go through the following and pull and one more time skip the one that's on my way and go through the following and if it doesn't go out just pull. Okay guys now I have this and in my next step I will go here through this yellow, through one of the yellow angles and I'm going to add light orange beads, two light orange beads, one black and two light orange beads. Okay this is what I have, five beads in total and I'm skipping this one and going through the next angle. Now I will pick up the same sequence 
and go in the next angle that I formed here. Okay. And now, guys, I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay, now I have this. And in my next step, guys, I'm going through these two orange beads. And I take a light orange, black and light orange. I skip the black one at the top and I go through the following orange. Then I take the same sequence, light orange, black, light orange. And I go here through this light orange, which is next to the black one. Then again, I take light orange, black, light orange, and this is what I'm gonna be taking until the end. I skip the black and go through the following orange. Then again, go here next to the black or between these two light orange beads that are from one side of my element. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and pay attention here at the last step. I'm going through the middle of this three orange beads that I have here. You see three, I'm going through the middle one. Don't make the mistake to go through the upper one. Sometimes this is a mistake people make. I was making it in the beginning. Okay, now I have this. Okay, now in my next step, I wanna go through one of these black beads. And I'm going to start with the next color, which is dark orange. And here I'm going to be adding five dark orange beads during this whole row. Okay, I'm exiting out of a black. Take five and go in the next black. Exiting out of a black, take five. And go in the next black. Exiting out of the of a black, take five and go in the next black. Okay, guys, and continue this until the end. Connect all the blacks with five dark orange beads and I'll meet you here. Okay, and I'm here where I'm adding my last five orange beads. And I have this. Now I will go through the next two orange beads and I will take three orange beads. Then I will skip this one which is at the top like this. And as I'm here, I'm going to take red, black and red again. And I will go in the same place, one orange bead after the angle. Or in the second orange counting from the angle. Now I have this and I'm going to take again three orange beads. Put them here at the top. Skip the top one and go through the following. Then I'm going to take a red, a black and a red. Skip this uh, orange which is after the black, after the angle and go through the following. 
and here I'm in a position to add three orange beads. Skip the next one and go through the following. Okay, and don't worry that at this stage your work will bend a little bit. We will fix it later. Okay, again, red, black, red. Go in the same bead here. And add three. Okay. Uh, continue. No matter if it bends and moves, red, black, red, three orange red black red three orange and i'll meet you here okay guys and i'm here at my last step and pay attention where i go through the middle of three of these three orange beads just like this and again don't worry that your work will bend at this stage especially if you use monofilament like me it will bend but don't worry, we'll fix it later. Maybe if you use uh, Fireline or Nylon Thread, it won't bend as much. But whatever you're using will uh, make it work. Okay, now I'm exiting out of this orange bead through the one that sticks out the most. And I'm going to take three red beads. And I go here through this black one just like this then again three and go here three again go here through the black three again go here and I'm going to continue this until the end and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and here I'm adding my last three beads from this row and the process of straightening up of my work has started not finished yet I will finish it in the next rows okay so now in this row what I'm going to do is go through the next two red beads and I'm going to take a black, a green and a black okay, black, green, black and as I'm exiting here one red bead away from the angle I'm going in the same place one red bead after the angle okay then as I'm here one red bead uh, before the this angle, this orange angle, I'm going to take five red beads, okay, five of them. And as I'm here, I'm going one bead away from the orange angle. And I have this. Now it's time to add black green black go in the same place one bead after the angle or in the middle one of the three beads that you added in your previous row here take five five red beads and go in the middle of these three beads that you added in your previous row. Then again, black, green, black. Go in the middle of the three that you added in your previous row. And take five. Five. And in the middle one of this tree that you added in your previous row. Okay, and continue this row the same way. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, see this 
first steps and repeat them until the end okay i'll meet you here okay and here i am guys where i'm adding my last five beads from this row again in the same place in the central of these three beads that you added in your previous row now what i want to do is go in this direction through all of those beads and you see these five beads that you added here in your previous row i'm going through two of them and i'm next to this one that's sticking out the most and now what i want to do is add three red beads skip the one that sticks out the most and go like this now i'm going to take a black one and two green beads okay this is what i have and i'm going through this green here okay then i'm going to take the other way around two greens and one black and i'm going here next to the one that's sticking out the most or the second of those five beads that i added in my previous row i take three reds skip the top and go through the following now i'm going to repeat this thing here i need a black and two greens like this and i go here in the green then i take two greens and a black and i go here in this red in the same red as i did before and i take three skip the top and go through the following i'll show you one more time the green part and let you do this by yourself until the end okay black and two greens and then two greens and a black and i go here and i will continue with three reds then again black two greens two greens and a black and if you forgot how i'm doing it rewind this part and repeat it from here and i'll meet you okay guys and here is the last step and i'm going here you see at the same place where i've been before don't make the mistake to go through this red bead which is the next one okay so now i want to go through this one that sticks out the most this red one and believe it or not we are up to the last row okay i take three black beads i go here through the first green like this and then i'm going to take three more black beads okay and i go through the last green and at this row guys everything will straighten up okay take three go here through the top take three go through the first green take three go through the last green take three go through the top and i will continue these guys until the end and i'll meet you here if you forgot how i'm doing it just rewind the video and see what i do and repeat it everywhere until the end it's really easy three first green three last green three top red 
three first green, three last green, three top red. Okay, meet you in a while. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step. And now I'm exiting out of this black bead and I want to add my earring finding. And how I do this, I take yellow, orange, red. Okay. Then I take my earring finding. Slide those down. And I take red, orange, yellow. And I go in this black one and in the red one. Okay. Then again, through the black and through the yellow, just like this. Skip the orange and go through the reds. And with this, when I pull, I form an angle. And again, skip the orange and go through this yellow. And then through the one after that. And choose a place to make a knot. Of course, you could go and reinforce this part one more time. But when you're ready, choose a place to make a knot. And how I make it, I make here a loop. And I go once. And I go second time through this loop I've made. And then I pull. Sorry, my thread went out of the needle and I need to put it back off camera. Not to make you watch me do this and now I go through the following seed bead and you could make more and more knots when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and now my Hichol style circular peyote earring is ready if you think uh, it's not flat enough you could put a uh, cotton cloth on it and iron it but I think it's okay it will be okay okay guys and now my circular peyote stitch Hichol style earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified for my new videos usually twice a week and you will be inspired often also you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself check description for really useful links and uh, you could also support me with becoming a member of my channel which is a new feature thank you so much for watching bye bye from me